Wow, look at that. That lake was appropriately named Witch Lake, and given the season, it's very appropriate. One more hour until I get up to the city of Marquette. That storm last night was totally wild. There was so much thunder and lightning. It was absolutely beautiful because I have you know, a lot of windows in my house, and so I could see all of the lightning strikes, and it was so loud, and just having all the rain on the window, oh my god, where was my hot chocolate? Beautiful. Today, I am finally getting started on my exploration of the fall stuff, so... My first stop is going to be Marquette, um, Michigan, which is um, pretty far west on the Upper Peninsula. Um, from there, I have found a few hikes that I'd like to go ahead and do, but I'm waiting to kind of get up there to pick the order that I'm going to do them. Oops, excuse me. Um, because there is, like a chance of some drizzly rain today and if I can avoid that I'd like to do that avoid but um, yeah the storms the storm has passed there really isn't anything else on the forecast anytime soon so I'm not I'm not worried I am <clears throat> I was a day ahead of schedule because I basically drove straight here from Portland Oregon I got here a day early and now with the storm I'm kind of back on schedule. This city of Marquette is super cute. Sat down, stared at the computer for a little while, decided that I'm gonna hike Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a pretty quick hike and it's it's like right down the road from here. It's a 10 minute drive um, from the city of Marquette. And then uh, it's got some great like fall color views. It's supposed to, but I don't really know because there's no recent photos showing that. So it might be all green and this is not gonna be that exciting. Well, I mean, it'll still be pretty get views of, I think it's Lake Superior here. Um, I'll have to double check that. And then I'm going to drive across Marquette, back across Marquette into the, it's like, oh, I keep forgetting what the heck it's called. It's not, it's, I keep mentally calling it Painted Lake Shore, but it's something pictured, oh, pictured rocks, pictured rocks national lakeshore so i found a like 10 mile basically flat walk but it takes you through um a couple really cool waterfalls and along the shoreline um and looking at sea cliffs and stuff and so i think and it's but it's a really long hike it's 10 miles so that's the goal we'll see i don't know what's going to happen um as usual literally nothing in my life actually goes according to plan like i have been doing really good about staying on schedule of course but um, like overall in the grand scheme of things, but when you break it down into like the little tiny, um, events that happen, like none of it actually happens. Like I think it's going to happen. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get moving because daylight is short and sweet. I'm wondering if it's like a half marathon or a 5k. Look, there's people running. They've got crossing guards everywhere.
is a very blustery day. And by the looks of it, it's pretty early in the fall season still. Reached the Sugarloaf Trailhead. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Wow. Going down. There's a fire. They're still trying to figure out how that fire started, but they're thinking maybe the lightning from the storms last night, potentially, like it was, and then it was contained due to everything being very wet. Don't know. And we are back. Just in time, it started to drizzle.
just hopped on the trailhead for Munising Falls. Absolutely gorgeous. Today's lunch is a Uncrustable and some carrots. <laughs> so I was reading this thing and I thought this was crazy. Um, the Lake Superior would, if it was drained, it would fill a pool the size of the lower 48 states to a depth of nearly five feet. That's a lot of freaking water. about to reach the Miners Falls trailhead. All right, scratch that on Miners Falls. We're doing only Miners Castle in this area because there's no parking. <laughs> Check out the lower overlook. <laughs> it's so windy.
there's a lot more like red coloring on this main road. Like I I imagine it's because this is more exposed to the cold air and like closer in the further into the forest you go, it's not as cold. I don't know. so much eye candy. So I started over here somewhere. Um, was just there. Now I, I'm here. I want, I'm going to walk to Mosquito Falls. It's like a one mile hike here, but originally this was the 10 mile hike that I wanted to do because this Chapel Rock and Grand Portal Point are two of the like famous spots here. But unfortunately I just don't have enough daylight because I dilly dallied too much over here. I didn't originally plan to spend any time over here and I did. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I stay here another day, maybe I really wasn't planning on staying here another day. Um, because I want to get up to like the Northeast part, you know, but hmm, we'll see. We'll see how this hike goes. This has been such a nice walk so far. It's so peaceful. There's nobody out here. Only past a few people so far. It's okay. starting to rain again. <clears throat> oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Well, that little waterfall was about as cute as a mosquito, wasn't it? Um, I was going to try and make it down to Mosquito Beach, but it's not going to happen. It's just already too close to dark and it's cold and I'm tired. <laughs> All right, see you at the car. It's just a little too early in the season. This leaf is the perfect representation of where we are.
I am exhausted. It's been only a day full of walking and driving. I think I did a total of a little, about five miles of walking slash hiking slash stairs. Um, and I don't, I didn't really drive that many miles. It's all kind of slow moving miles out here, but, um, spent some time in the car driving, but now I am going to call it a day. I'm not really sure where to go from here though, because, um, the nearest town isn't really in the direction that I want to go in. So unless I stay another whole day out here, it doesn't really make sense to drive up there, but I will decide as I'm driving as usual. That's usually how it goes. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know where I end up, obviously. <laughs> See you there. <laughs>